Hey, black woman, did you know that the Ten Commandments is the word of the covenant? Did you watch my last episode? If you haven't, make sure you click the card, then come back. And Christian says that the old covenant is done away with. But if you read the scriptures, we know that it's everlasting. Hey everybody, my name is Braisha, and this is Bible Audio, and I'll be reading from my reading uh, for you guys. And this is Exodus chapter 34, the second ta- uh, tablet of stone. It says, the, word, the Lord said unto Moses, a hue of uh, these two uh, tables of stone like unto the first. And I will write upon these uh, tables of uh, words that were in the first um, t- uh, table which thou break. Be ready in morning and come up in the morning unto Mount Sinai and present thyself there to me in the top of the mount. And no man shall come up with thee. Neither let any man be seen throughout all the mount. Let the flocks nor herds uh, feed before that mount. And he healed two tables of stone like unto the first. And Moses rose up early in the morning and went up unto Mount Sinai as the Lord has commanded him. And took in his hand the two tables of stone. And the Lord descended in the cloud and stood with him there and proclaimed the name of the Lord. And the Lord passed by before him and proclaimed the Lord. The Lord God, merciful and gracious, long suffering, abundant in goodness and truth, keeping mercy for a thousand, forgiving iniquity and um, transgression and sin, that will by no means clear the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children, upon the children's children, upon the third and fourth generation. And Moses made haste and bowed his head towards the earth and worshiped. And he said, If now I have found grace in thy sight, O Lord, let my let my Lord, I pray thee, go among us, for it is a um uh, for it is a stiff necked people, not and pardon our sins and our pardon our iniquity and our sins. Take us for thine inheritance. And he said, Behold, I make a covenant before all thy people I will mar- I will do marvels, such as have not been done in all the earth nor in any nation, and all the people among which thou art shall see the work of the Lord, for it is a terrible thing that I will do with thee. Observe thou which I I commanded thee this day. Behold, I drive out before thee the Morites and the, the Canaanites and the, Hitt- the Hittites and the Persesites and the Hivites and the Jubasites. Take heed to thyself, lest thou make a covenant with the Habitants of the land, whether thou goest, least it be for a snare in the midst of thee. But ye shall destroy their altars, break their images, and cut down their groves. For thou shalt not worship no other god, for the Lord whose name is Jealous is a jealous God. Lest thou make a covenant with the inhabitants of the land, and, and they go a horn after their gods, do sacrifice unto their gods, and one called thee, and thou eat of his sacrifice. And thou, and thou take of their daughters upon thy sons, and the daughters go a whoring after their gods, and make thy sons go a whoring after their gods. Thou shalt make thee no molten gods. The feast of unleavened bread shalt thou keep. Seven days thou shalt eat unleavened bread, as I commanded thee in the day of the day. I mean, the time of the month of Habib. For in the month of Habib thou camest out from Egypt. All that opened the matrix is mine, and every um, uh, fir- firstling among thy cattle, whether ox or sheep that is uh, male. It says, but the uh, firstling of any ass thou shalt redeem with the lamb. If thou redeem him not, then thou shalt break his neck. It says, all the firstborn of thy son thou shalt redeem, and none shall appear before me empty and handed. Six days thou shalt work, but on the seventh day thou shalt rest. In earing time and in harvest thou shalt rest. And thou shalt observe the uh, the feast of weeks of the first fruit of harvest. And the feast of the end gathering at the year's um, end. Thrice in the year shall all your men, children, appear before the Lord, the God of Israel. For I will cast out the nations before thee. 
in a large thy borders, neither shall any man desire thy land when thy shall go up to appear before the Lord thy God thrice in the year. Thou shalt not offer the blood of my sacrifice with leaven, neither shall the sacrifice of the feast of the Passover be left unto the morning. The first of the the first of the uh, first fruits of that land thou shalt bring upon the house of the Lord thy God. Thou shalt not seasonly a kid in the in his mother's milk. And the Lord said unto Moses, Write thou these words, for thou for after the tenor of these words I have made a covenant with thee and with Israel. And he was there with the Lord forty days and forty nights. He did neither he neither he did neither eat bread nor drink water. And he wrote upon the tables of the words of the covenant, the Ten Commandments. It says, It came to pass when Moses came down from the Mount Sinai with two tablets of uh, testimony in Moses' hand when he came down from the Mount, that Moses rich not that the um, the skin of his face shone while he was talked with him. You know what I found out? The actual, what was it, date, Exodus and, and uh, Genesis. And it's old. It's old as hell. So basically, the Egyptian book of the dead, the Bible itself is older than the Egyptian book of the bed dead. It's when Aaron, all the children of Israel, saw um, Moses. Behold, the, the skin of his face shone, and they were afraid to come nigh him. And Moses called unto them, and Aaron, all the rulers of the congregation, returned unto him. And Moses talked with them, and afterwards all the children all the children of Israel came nigh. And he gave them in uh, commandments all that the Lord had spoken with him in Mount Sinai. Until Moses had done speaking with them, he put the veil on his face. But when Moses went in before the Lord to speak with him, he took the veil off until he came out. He came out and spake unto the children of Israel that which he was commanded. And the children of Israel saw the face of Moses, that the skin of Moses' face shone like it shined. And Moses put the veil upon his face again until he went into speech. the Exodus 34 question. I says, what is the Lord like? Like, number one. Number two, who are the nations that the Most High will drive out? Number three. What is the name that God called himself? What is number four? What is the month for the feast of unleavened bread? Five. What is the word of the covenant? And then I also want to say I am going to put the video which you should watch next. Have a blessed day.